Hi everyone. I want to thank you all for um, uh, watching and um, my sale worked. My two day sale worked. It um, generated about 15 sales. So about 15 people got uh, bought Derek 2 and got a free single. And uh, some of you noticed that it is for sale through my Bandcamp website, and it goes for ten dollars. Um, so that was a nice deal <laughs> that some people got. Um, something else that I did um, was I went ahead and I started up a new blog specifically for the record label DBH Recordings. Um, so I'll put the link down below. I'll annotate it here. I've made it easy. You can go there and just push buy now. And you buy, you pay less for Derek 2 when you buy it directly from me at my blog than you do at Bandcamp. At Bandcamp, I had to up the price to um, cover the uh, fee that Bandcamp takes out. Now, PayPal takes a fee out too, but not nearly as much. And I'll tell you folks, um, one of the reasons why I uh, was needing some sales was so that I could um, have some money to buy some records. <laughs> I mean, it's like um, I'm sitting tight on what I have because the world is just a mess, as you know it is. And so we have to hold on to our ducats so that we can pay the man and keep the lights on and eat and put gas in the car. You know, that's, you know, I have, I always have to keep that in mind that that's what the money is mainly for. But um, I still want to enjoy life a little bit. And so um, um, getting the sales up to a certain point, I felt, okay, I think I can, I think it's okay to go buy some records. That's what I live for, people, okay? If you haven't noticed through my Facebook involvement, this is my obsession. This is the most interesting. This is what I'm more in, most interested in life is um, music and records, record collecting, the whole ball of wax. It really is my primary interest. You know, not sports or anything like that. So I treated myself and bought some records. I'll show them in a second. Last night I went out to. Uh, Conduits, uh, Jenna Morrison is the lead singer of Conduits, and just a, a good, sweet friend of mine. Just love that girl. And uh, I want to show the record. Did I put it away already? Um, no. Okay. So anyway, yesterday was Jenna's birthday, and uh, she had a big, crazy-ass party uh, at uh, the Sydney in conjunction with uh, Simon Joyner's new record release. Some of you guys probably know who Simon Joyner is. The world is crazy. You know, I'm saying that because it's like, man, people are crazy for a good time. And Friday nights, man, I could not wait to get back home. You know, the way people drive and stuff. And whew, I am not an old fuddy-duddy. I just, I still, I still value life. God, it just the way people look to me. I just have to comment. People were just sloppy and weird to me last night. I love you, Jenna, though. I love Jenna, the lead singer of Conduits. It's my sweetie. So, um, besides um, buying some records yesterday, I received some in the mail. I don't, I am not into trading for Derek, too. I've done just a couple because I'm not into it. I, this is my business. I'll, I'll fail if everyone ex all of a sudden comes running up to me wanting to trade. I can't do that. I can't, I can't live on trades, okay? So I've done a few. And one of the trades I did was, was with Mason for Brain Worlds. That was a quality trade and a half. This is fantastic, folks. Brain Worlds Plosive. I also listened to the, brain, the Plosive side last night, too. This is Ambient Music Deluxe. Brain World is fantastic. He uses guitar and, and effects. You can't tell it's a guitar. Um, I think he's taken what Robert Fripp started and, and taken it to a whole nother level. This is fantastic. Brain World's plosive. Look it up online. 
very quick somebody a couple things um house cleaning 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 uh, i had been asked a couple videos ago if i could do some needle drops um i used to and i got uh, all kinds of crap from youtube for doing that so i don't do it anymore um i watched seca funk yesterday and um van is fantastic at the needle drops um and Matter of fact, it's more it's fun to watch you, Sekafunk, do the needle drops. I love your enthusiasm. And um, you put me in school. It's like, you know, I've been listening to a lot of space music, but man, I got funk and jazz all in the house, mostly on CD. So it's like um, I haven't been really going that direction much lately. So last night I pulled something I haven't listened to in a while because it's like, well, what is this? Josh Roseman unit. I know, Funk, you know about this guy. I got this as a promo CD years ago. Cherry. And it's very interesting. Some of this I really don't like, but he's doing some very interesting things with jazz and New Orleans-style uh, funk and stuff. Like they do, they do Don't Be Cruel. They do Led Zeppelin's Cashmere. Uh, what do they do? They do Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana on here. Very unique. Second Punk, I bet you know about that. So that's why I'm not doing needle drops. I'd love to. I'd love to play records for you all day, but I hate getting shit from YouTube. Someone else asked if I would show more electronic music. I'd like to show more electronic music on vinyl. I don't have more to show. I'll show what I have as time goes on. I have more on CD. But um, electronic music is something I have not been able to keep up with financially. There are several labels that I don't have anything on in physical, like the Raster Noton label, Raster Noton, and some other labels that um, Boomcat. I hardly have anything on Boomcat. I'd love to talk more about it, and um, I'll just have to pull some CDs to show you because I don't have much on vinyl. But... Um, Besides the brain worlds, I also received, um, apparently this is the second part of my birthday present. My good friend Randy Lamaster is in Pittsburgh. Just love him. And he's been a big champion of my music since the 80s. Sent me this um, on my birthday. By This Quiet Army and Yellow Six. Death. Ambient. Fantastic. I'll open it because it is. It's a treat. It's beautiful. So uh, the only record I have on gold vinyl. Yesterday, the companion piece for this arrived from Randy, which I greatly appreciate. So I had Death, and then the second part is Valley. So the complete package is Death, and then Valley. <laughs> Let's go and get this. Yeah, there we go, Death Valley. So, um, Death is on Gold, and Valley, which I just got yesterday, is on Silver Vinyl. And this is really good stuff. Wonderful ambient music. Again, guitar-based with pedals. There's a lot you can do with that. Sadly, I recently discovered that I left my delay, my, uh, loop pedal at uh, my last gig at the waiting room, so it's a couple hundred dollars gone. My fault. It's one of those things that happens. So what I bought, I bought three things yesterday. And one was a real treat because it was expensive, and it was like, it's one of those things where a lot of times in the past, I'd have put it back because I because of money and then I'm at the point now where it's like god dang it I want that that's what I got the money for okay so I bought it ride going blank again this is a two LP 45 rpm reissue sounds wonderful I just dig this music I just dig this music, you know. I'm not a funk master. I, music doesn't have to be funky for me. I love funk, but not as much as I like, I guess, in English rock, I guess. Mm. 
when I'm here alone, a lot of times what I find <clears throat> very comfortable listening to is this stuff as opposed to funk and grooves, which everybody is really into, you know, and I'm not putting it down, but um, I will say this. I think that when it comes to discovering music and trends and people getting really excited about a form of music, I think I'll say this, and I will say it in an egotistical way. I think the world has to catch up with me. You guys are still on funk and grooves. In about 20, 30 years, you guys will be talking about what I'm talking about now. The way that people are talking about funk and grooves. I may be wrong, but what I'm trying to say is funk and grooves is fine. But I'm stunned. But what, especially this white music that, you know, that's the thing, you know. How do I get it into words? Y'all know what I'm, some of y'all know what I'm trying to get at, okay? A lot of you folks are real busy discovering my people's music. And you don't even know what y'all did. <laughs> Just ignore me, okay? If my words sound like bullshit or crazy talk, it's because I'm old, okay? <laughs> I bought, it's a Daniel Rawson, Silent Hour Golden Mile. This is the lead singer of Grizzly Bear. It's on Warp. It's a single. Um, I don't mind singles. Um, sometimes I buy singles when I can't afford a whole album or if the single is interesting, I'll buy it. And this, for all intents and purposes, could be Grizzly Bear. It's very good. And the other thing that I bought that I said, I just want this because, I, you know, it's pop. I do like pop music. A lot of pop music is uh, generic sounding to me. So it has to be really good or unique for me to bother with it. And Santi Gold um, makes the cut. What's the name of this? Welcome to my make-believe, or master of my make-believe. I really like this album. I really like the way she does her beats. I like her syncopation of her vocals. I think she's very good. And this is beautiful limited edition vinyl. Beautiful. So it's like, I just, yeah. Had to have it. Had to have it. So there is the truth of the matter why I was whining about, come on and buy my record. <laughs> I wanted you to buy my record so I could buy some records. You know what I'm saying? I don't just want to eat and pay bills, you know. I want to enjoy life. And one of the things that I enjoy about life is music and records and buying records and playing them, talking about them, vibing with other people. A couple things I played last night while I was home, Inner Conflicts, Billy Cobham. Awesome. Awesome mix of his fiery drumming with electronics on this album. Really good. This is amazing. Flood by Herbie Hancock. Really caught an, uh, an excellent performance. Recorded impeccably. This is amazing. This is a, a, just a bomb of an album. Just, just excellent. I uh, was messing with Sequoia Flame a little bit. He was listening to Cactus, and so I pulled mine. And... Um, the hard rocking tunes I like on here quite a bit. The bluesy tracks, just like any other blues, it gets skipped. It just I'll, that's all I'll say. Good album. And then I played this. This was given to me by uh, Glowing Cabbage last year. In between, ambient, beautiful, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna keep it short because I want to get I want to go on Facebook and see what people are talking about. 